3D Puff Effect. First, open Content Browser. Uh, in here, right click the Add-ons New Folder. Name it. Open it and right click again Create and Folder. Name it and open it. Now create a new material. Name it. And open it. Now select this. In details. Translate G in sharing mode. Take on later. Right click. Retake radial grant explosion. Duplicate this here down. Take an parameter and its value is 30. Connect this to density and here to press 2. X axis take 0.5 in Y axis take 0.55. Now connect this to here. Uh, mm, in here take and subtract. Connect this to to subtract. Take and multiply, connect this to multiply and from multiply B, take and texture sample, and we have to import our noise texture. This is my noise texture. Now apply the texture to texture sample. Connect this multiply to emissive color. You can see this curve. Take a multiply, connect this to texture sample. Vector to radial value. Connect this to multiply. Take on another multiply. Connect this to here. Press 2. Its value is 2 and 4. Connect this to multiply. From B, take a dynamic parameter. And the dynamic parameter name is a tile. From multiply, take a power. Now in here take two multiplies. Connect this to here. And connect the multiply to emissive color. Now in here take can particle color. Connect this to multiply. Now connect the power to 
this multiply and connect this A to multiply A and connect the multiply to opacity apply and uh, duplicate this material and rename it delete this uh, ok now in here take an texture coordinate from here take and multiply multiply value is 2 and from multiply take subtract from subtract take a mask in mask take R from mask take absolute and from absolute take a multiply Now right click on multiply start preview point. You can see the straight line and stop. Now from multiply take subtract. And here take and mask, connect this to here. Multiply. Connect this multiply to subtract. And here start preview point. And you can see the triangle. Now from subtract take one minus. Now here tick on R. The multiply value is 0.2. In here up 0.5. Now move it far. Okay, from 1 minus take power. Now you can adjust in power. Now from power taken, saturate. Uh, preview point it. In multiply take 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 1. Okay, in power. Yes. Select this all. Move it down. Connect the saturate to this multiply. And right click. Take a append. And connect this subtract to append. And connect this mask to append. Now again I move it here. Connect the append to multiply. And in here change its values. Uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 or 1, 2, uh, here 2, 3, 1. Okay, one is fine. Apply and open content browser. Right click, create a Niagara. Take fountain, name it and open it.
delete the gravity force. Snap velocity. Um, um, in velocity mode, take from point. In minimum, take ten. Maximum two hundred. Sphere location. In here, the sphere radius is fifty. To initialize particle. In lifetime minimum take six point six. Maximum take point four. Flight render. In the here, apply the curve material. And in aligned, take velocity aligned. Particle update. Add dynamic. Material parameter. In here, the title take one. In initialize particle. In sprite size border take a fifty and hundred. Mass mode take unset. And in the color, in here alpha take ten. And here zoom in. You can see the curves. Now in particle object add scale sprite size. In here select this. In take a point five. And in scale color, select this first one. Take a uh, zero point five, and uh, just it. And now in flight render, change its name to curve. And in render, add and again flight render. In here, apply this material. And in aligned, take velocity aligned. In here, uh, take one point one point five three. Please okay. Dynamic material. Click on the shadow. Search for random range float. Values are uh, point eight and zero point two. In particle spawn, no, no, no. Now delete the spawn rate and in emitter update, add spawn burst in saniers. Spawn count is. Uh, fifty. Then emitter state. In here, take up once or infinity. Save it and go to third person map. Check it once. Yes, and thank you for watching CD Gaming Channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.